Alafu tuna mtoto mwingine anaitwa Sarafina. Lakini yo Sarafina alikuwa anakaa na bibi yake ambaye amekufa kwa ukimwi mwaka jana mwanzoni. Nafikiri pale kwa mabibi kuna dampo mmeliona wameweka karatasi. Siku hiyo sisi tunaenda kwenye nyumba ya mabibi mimi na bibi Jeni. Tukamkuta Sarafina amelala kwenye jua la saa nane. Fikiria jua la Dar es Salaam lilivyo kali. Ni mchafu tangu ameondoka hapo hii ilikuwa wiki ya pili hajaoga. Hana chakula, hana nini. Bibi Jeni alimbeba na alilia sana. Kwa hiyo Sarafina tangu kipindi hicho akawa amerudi tena huku ndo tunaendelea kuishi naye. Mama Fatuma is the strongest woman I've ever met. She serves as a beacon for all of these other women, for this whole school, for, for this entire community. The way she interacts with you, she just brings grace constantly. It's hard to explain what it is exactly about the woman. She's probably some holy person who's just come down. Sees when he was about two. 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 Whoa! I was fine. No. I have two great grandsons I'm raising. I had them ever since birth. They was babies. My granddaughter, I raised her, they mother. So when she had them, she still was living with me. So she used to just leave them. And I didn't want to see them going to foster care. So it would left me only me to take them. So that's what I did. How do I relax? I just like to sit down. Most of the time, read the Bible, even listen to gospel music, and I relax. You know, when you can feel his presence, you know he's there. And I can feel his presence, you know, so I know he's there. You figure you're just in the safe zone. You just forget everything. So that's the joy in my life.